One of the overarching ingredients for achieving successful growth in your native grass planting is having healthy expectations related to how much time is required to grow in all directions. Native warm season grasses require approximately one to two years to establish, with most of the first year's growth taking place within the root system. Additionally, native grasses are bunch grasses that when mature can cover up to two feet in diameter, ultimately resulting in a fully established, successful stand. This video details the six steps to help you achieve successful establishment. Proper selection of species and varieties is determined by considering both the goals of your project as well as the historic soil conditions of the site. Respecting the realities of soil conditions allows a grass seed specialist to formulate an accurate, effective seed plan. Spelling out the goals of your project will guide you towards selecting the correct combination of native grasses and forbs. There are many things you should consider when investing in seed. Price alone isn't an accurate benchmark for determining what is the best seed to meet your project needs. In fact, expertly cleaned and conditioned seed is one of the most vital components. Cleaned and conditioned seed allows for easy drill calibration, increased flowability, and even distribution across your entire field. Additionally, during the seed conditioning process, Larger, more vigorous seed is isolated and will provide up to 20% more seeds per PLS pound. Effective seed bed preparation techniques should ultimately provide a clean, smooth, and firm seed bed. Depending on the site, disking, herbicide treatment, haying, or burning may be required. In terms of firmness, you should not sink in more than one inch. For existing CRP and grass, begin site prep one year prior to seeding, hay or burn. Spray glyphosate after regrowth. If weed growth is present during year of seeding, one to two applications of glyphosate may be required. If weed growth is present at actual time of seeding, apply glyphosate and plateau. If no weed growth, then only plateau is required. For cropland, previous year's crop will dictate if and how much tillage is required. Please be aware of the allelopathic effect wheat residue may have on native grass growth. If weed growth is present at actual time of seeding, apply glyphosate and plateau. If no weed growth, then only plateau is required. Be aware of any chemical residue that might be present. As outlined in step three, it is critical to achieve a clean seed bed to allow for your desired native grasses to better establish. By planting in optimum soil temperatures, you can more easily identify and effectively kill competing warm season grasses and weeds. For spring planting, soil temperatures for cool season grasses need to be at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Warm season grasses need to be at or above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool season grasses can be planted again in late summer or early fall. Both cool and warm season grasses can be dormant seeded. However, you should make sure they will not green up the year of planting. Each year's unique weather patterns produce varying seasonal temperatures. If you have any questions about when to plant, contact your conservation specialist. Most seeds used in formulating native seed plants are small. As a result, they do not have enough energy to push through the entirety of the soil, making seeding depth crucial. Use a drill that can accurately place the seed one third of an inch deep. If broadcasting and dragging, you will need to go at least one and a half times the drill rate. Check your seeding depth often. It is more important to be too shallow than too deep. Inspect your seed delivery hoses for clogging if a majority of your mix is little blue stem and or side oats grama. Be sure to maintain a slow to moderate drilling speed. When drilling a mix of grasses and forbs where the seed has been conditioned, there is not a problem when mixing the grasses and forb seeds and drilling all through the same box. To compensate for any separation that might occur, only fill the box to two-thirds capacity.
Faux seeding management is a requirement of any successful project simply because there will always be a need to control weeds. Some options for management include mowing, prescribed fire, grazing or haying, and herbicide application. If forbs are a part of your mix and you want to use herbicides, make sure to select forbs that are plateau or milestone tolerant. If mowing, make sure the height is above emerging native grasses and forbs. If a prescribed fire is a foreseeable option, create fire lanes on the perimeter of the fields at the time of establishment. These same lanes can provide for wildlife food plots if managed properly. 